let's go from Lubbock down, rather west, further west, to UTEP, where uh, the only winless team, only winless team in FES, is that right? You might be right. I think I that's will right. Double check it. Double check that. Yeah, we're getting confirmation from our from our producer that uh, they were the only winless team in FBS. Zero and twelve. Sean Kugler out. Um, I think did they? I never got confirmation. Was that a firing or was it a kind of mutual agreement? Uh, I had heard different phrases. In any case, Sean Kugler is no longer there. the coach at UTEP. He's no. He has cleaned out his office. Broncos offensive line coach now. Good for him. Fine. Yeah. Good spot. That's a really good spot. Boy, talk about falling upwards. Uh, but Dana Demmel is in to be the new uh, the new coach of the UTEP Miners, uh, taking over this, this program that uh, is about as listless as it gets and that needs a spark. My New Year's resolution for UTEP is to embrace the old TCU model. Because when you think about how Gary Patterson built TCU – into what was a, a WAC champion and then a Mountain West champion, and I'm sure six other conferences along the way. Coffee cup in the Big East. Exactly. Man, that was such a great run in the Big East. Um, <laughs> undefeated. Undefeated. No one else could say that. Yeah, they were the, they were the only undefeated Big East team maybe ever. Um, but for me, when you look back at that, they didn't do it with four- and five-star guys. In fact, in a lot of respects, they didn't do it with three-star guys. They did it with guys that nobody else was paying attention to, that they were able to say, let's take you. We know you are good at football. We're going to find a spot for you and turn you into a really good football player. Because the thing that I think TCU has done better than anybody else is develop. They've, done, they've taken guys and they've said, you're good at football. You're a good athlete. Let's find a spot for you and teach you to play that and make you into a star there. That's what they've done. That's what I think UTEP needs to do. Obviously, UTEP has a number of hurdles. One, they're a losing program, and it's very hard to recruit out there. Two, it's in El Paso. It's way out there. Uh, and three, they don't have that Power 5 thing. They've got the, the Group of 5 thing, and they've got a last place in Conference USA West stink to get off of them. To me, that's not going to get the four stars and the five stars coming calling. You're going to need to do more with less. And if you're Dana Dimmel, I think what you've got to do is say, grab these... Guys from small schools that maybe nobody's looking at, maybe guys who don't have an FBS offer, and bring them in and embrace that TCU model because that that works for TCU. I'm not saying Dana Dimmel is Gary Patterson, but that is to me the clearest path to a to improvement that UTEP can find. And coming from K State, maybe he's got that eye for yeah. the diamond in the rough. But I think uh, you know when you spend every day working and around the facilities. And you're getting up at 6 in the morning and doing weights, and you show up to two-a-days, and it's hot. You're in El Paso, Texas. You're doing all this work, and you don't get to win a game. That's hard. Yeah, that's uh, hard. There's not, I've been around, some, done some stories on teams who have gone winless. It's just a, it's a drag on everybody um, because there's just not that reward at the end. And so whatever it takes for them – you got to win a game soon. Get that positive. Whether you got to play, you got to go, you know, find an intramural team to go beat up on. Whatever you got to do, get some, uh, you know, positive reinforcement. Get some, some, some positive results, something that you can be proud of. Uh, whatever, whether that's scheduling, whatever you got to do, mm-hmm. get a win. Get your guys feeling good and, and get them. I think that can really renew the spirit of a football team. Just the act of celebrating together. I think, you know, uh, uh, if you guys were, were keeping track of, uh, of anything in the FBS or FCS this year, Austin P mm-hmm. was a fantastic story. Opened, or they came into the season on a 30 plus game losing streak, uh, won their first game. Got going a little bit. Will Healy, a 32-year-old co- head coach out there, almost got they were robbed of a spot in the FCS playoffs. <laughs> Similar type of situation here. Obviously, the losing was not to that level, but you know, you you got to have that uh, ability to have some reward. You're exactly right. 